As a mother of two daughters, I think it's very important for women in elected office to be role models. And one of the reasons I ran for office was because I wanted to make sure my daughters knew they can pursue whatever they want to to live the American dream. We know that all issues are women's issues, and traditionally people have thought that women just cared about health care, education, child care, but we know that women are very concerned about national security, the economy, and our veterans. Participating in the Women to Women tour across this nation has been a wonderful experience and has been a great opportunity to bring women from diverse backgrounds together and to talk about the issues that are important to everyday Americans. As I was walking the halls of Congress one day, I stumbled upon a picture of a woman by the name of Jeanette Rankin, and she was the first Republican female elected to Congress. I think about how far we've come in the last hundred years. We have Kathy McMorris Rogers, who is chair of our conference, and we have three women who are chairs of committees. I was very pleased last year that the president signed into law the Survivors' Bill of Rights legislation that I introduced. It is a piece of legislation that gives survivors of sexual assault full access to the justice system. I've enjoyed working closely with Sarah Chamberlain and the rest of the Main Street Partnership over the last couple years. When creating policy and moving America forward, we need to do it in a very pragmatic way. And I think Main Street offers that approach for us and helps gives us the support that we need. Mm -hmm.